What we're doing is, with the help of an architectural master plan, is we're approaching things in a way where we're going to have a prioritized list of what we're trying to do every year. One of the initial things that we're working on is we are taking out trees that have uh, have made tee shots in areas of the golf course more claustrophobic for the player, um, that have become maintenance nightmares for our staff, um, and that we feel are limiting the excitement and the enjoyability of the golf course. So that's one of the big things that we're starting on right now is, is taking out some of these trees that have just become more of a problem. The biggest thing that we've seen, uh, the two biggest things are if they've become too close to fairways and too close to landing areas or greens, they, they limit your strategy, they limit your playability options, but a big thing is is they really start to take away from the quality of your turf. And again, a lot of choice in a lot of situations we're having to choose between the health of a tree or the health of a green or a fairway or a tee box. And we want to make sure that we have the emphasis on the health of the playing surface first. And then uh, trees, whether they're shade or whatever, limiting sunlight, taking water away from what you're trying to do. Um, again, these are things that we just needed to move out of the way so we can concentrate on the health of the golf course.